So in question number four of this first exercise, we have been given the following line graph, which shows the temperature forecast and the actual temperature for each day of a week. We see that there are two lines where the dotted lines represents the temperature forecast and the solid line represents the actual temperature. Also, the X axis represents the days and the Y axis represents the temperature in degrees Celsius. Now let us observe this line graph and answer the questions that follows. Now question A asks us to find the days when the forecast temperature and the actual temperature, they both are same. Now if we observe the line graph, we'll have to find out the points where the two graphs meet. So if we see the graph, so this is the first instance when the two graphs meet. This is the second and this is the third. So these are the three points when we can say that the temperature forecast and the actual temperature, they both are same. And if we observe the X axis, so these are the days when it's happening. So to answer question A, the three days when the temperature forecast and the actual temperature are same are the first one is Tuesday. The second day is a Friday. And the third day is a Sunday. So these are the three days on which the two temperatures are same. Now moving on to question B, where we'll have to answer the maximum forecast temperature during the week. Now the forecast temperature is represented by the dotted lines and the maximum would be on this day, which is Sunday. As we see, this is the maximum increase in the forecast temperature. And if we observe the y axis, so this point represents that maximum value. Hence, the answer for this question would be 35 degrees Celsius. Let us now move on to question C, in which we'll have to answer the minimum actual temperature during the week. Now, as we know that the actual temperature is represented by the solid line and the minimum temperature represented by this line, as we see, is definitely this point. And on the y axis, it is represented by this value. Hence, to answer this question, so the minimum actual temperature during the week was 15 degree Celsius. Moving on to the last part of this question, question D, we'll have to answer the day when the actual temperature differ the most from the forecast temperature. So as we observe the values there, we'll see that the, in the first, on the first day, the difference is of one unit. On the second day, they both are at the same point. Again, here on the third day, the difference is two units. On the fourth day, the difference is four units. Fifth day, they both are at the same point. Sixth day, two units and seventh day again at the same point. So the maximum difference between the two temperatures is noted at this point, which is represented by the day Thursday. So this day marks the maximum difference between the two temperatures. So this is how we are going to answer the fourth question of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.